is up YouTube Modern Mods and I'm back and I am very happy. This is going to be one of the most exciting videos I've done. Uh, I've been waiting so, so long for these parts to come in. Um, major shout out to Vet Lights for this one. They have created the brand new infrared uh, C6 tail lights here with the um, infinity style design. And I'll show you exactly what that means. Um, I'm sure by the thumbnail, you already know what you're supposed to be seeing here. Um, today, I'm going to be breaking down uh, what you get in the package. Um, the full install here, I'm going to be doing this in a, in a U.S. Uh, setting. So this is not going to be for my U, uh, EU guys, my European guys. Um, but there, it's, it's going to be a similar process. And the U, EU steps for uh, the specific things that I'm going to do um, are very well listed in the instruction paperwork. So you should still be able to follow along and on uh, those parts, just read through that paper. But all in all, this is a very, very, very easy job, guys. Um, if you don't want to do what I'm gonna do, which is wire the reverse lights, you don't even need to do anything. This is a simple plug and play design. The switches are integrated into the tail lamp, so you won't have to deal with any wiring. You can just adjust to your style. I'm gonna show you exactly what styles we can run on this um, and exactly how these look. I'm gonna also bring some nighttime shots and I will take it, um, step by step on the style so you guys can see what that looks like and just get a good gist of what you're looking at and what you're going to get yourself into and hopefully make you buy these lights because these things are one of a kind i absolutely love them they're so fresh right now that um i'm sure there's less than 50 of 50 of these out in the out in the streets so as the time of this video once these things start getting popularity i'm sure a lot of people will pick these up um but without further ado, let's stop rambling on here and let me show you what we get in the package and then show you what these look like on the car. Enjoy. Okay guys, so after you unbox uh, the packaging, you'll have your lights that are all wrapped up, very pretty. And here they are, they look freaking fantastic. I've already, um, you know, reviewed these, exampled these out, ran with them for a few days, uh, made sure the functionality was good. Except for the reverse lights, I wanted to wait until the video. I have my other side set up, but uh, just so you can see, just compared to my old here. So my car came with, and obviously they're scuffed up, but my car came with these. Uh, these are just the OEM tail lights that are smoked out. Um, you know, what? It was they're a nice look, no doubt. But um, lighting was very, very minimal with all how dark those were. Um, and just compared to the new, they look so good. But inside the box, you're gonna get a few T-taps for your um, wiring, uh, like I've been telling you about. Uh, if you're not gonna be doing any wiring, then those are not gonna be needed, but it's sweet that they give you those. And then these are some reflector circles that can go in the center if you um, wanted to add these. I went with the smoked style, so mine is not just the immediate uh, like red. They're more of a smoke tint haze and um, I will not be using these, but just to show you, they come with 3M backing on them and a little bit of plastic wrap. You can simply, you know, take that off and then just put it right in the center and stick it on like that if you wanted to, uh, to get your reflection, but nah, I'm not going to be doing that and I don't need that. So, um, that's pretty much it with the unpackaging. You do get your detailed instruction sheets, very small slip um, that breaks down exactly what you need to do. So now let me overview what the lights do and then uh, we'll show you what they look like on the car and we'll get into the install. Okay guys, so here is the tail light. Um, just one right here, very, very clean looking. Uh, I, I, It looks like, you know, okay when you're holding it, but the way it looks on the car and when it's running is just phenomenal. Um, but just to showcase the beauty of these lights here. So in depth, I'm going to show you here. You got your power relay. So this will give you the um, no flicker. You won't have to worry about your turn signals. I was running LED bulbs in my OEMs for the longest. Had to deal with that flicker. Hook these up. No flicker. Love it. No wiring needed. Comes already pre-done, pre-installed, super clean. And then you have your main harness here uh, that clips right in. Plug and play design. And then you have your um, extra wires here. So to explain what these are, you have a yellow wire and you have a white wire. Uh, in the instructions, it'll be considered amber, um, but it's yellow to my eyes. So what that means is, is the yellow wire is for the turn signals on the European Corvette. So if you're an American Corvette, um, so chances are if you, you know, are an American watching this video, you have an American Corvette. It'd be very rare that you did it. But in the cases you do, 
um, this yellow wire is to be tapped in for the turn signal. In this video, I'm not gonna be showing that because I do not have that style set up. Um, the other wire is a white wire. This is your power wire for the reverse light. So on this tail light, there is a very small ring right here that lights up white when the uh, reverse lights turn on. Um, for any of my guys that have uh, aftermarket diffusers or um, plan on going aftermarket that does a reverse light delete, uh, this is great because you know it's not really much for visibility. It's this ring does not light up enough to even emit that much light. It's more for just um, caution for people walking, cars pulling into parking lots, things like that. So I love that feature um, and I will absolutely be hooking that up. And then right here we have these three switches. This is beautiful. So they are all labeled US, EU, um, sequential, non-sequential, and red or amber. So that is um, just a beautiful thing that this taillight has. And I'm gonna explain what each of these are uh, reading my taillight guide. All right, so to go over the switches, guys, you're gonna have, starting at the top, this is your US and European switch. Um, if it is in the off position, you're in the US mode, and if it is in the Euro position, you're in the, or on position, you're in the Euro position. Uh, so for me, I'm gonna be keeping it off, which it came that way. Uh, again, this is gonna be for that power for your turn signal um, wire there. You don't, wanna do, you don't wanna touch that. So that one, just don't touch. And then the middle one, you have your, um, right here, this is sequential and non-sequential. So when this is on, the turn signal will be sequential. And when this is off, the turn signal will be standard or solid. Uh, so a flashing like that. Um, right now mine is off. I will show you what on and off looks like as well in that setting, but simple on off, super easy, super sweet guys. This is just what is selling these for me. Let me tell you, this is selling it. Uh, it's awesome. And then the bottom one here is red or amber switch. So when it is in the off position, which it is, um, the turn signal will be red. And when it, when, when it is in the on position, like that, the turn signal will be amber. I will show you um, what that looks like as well. And the um, another amazing thing about this, guys, is you don't bridge these together. This is on each separate tail light. So you can have so many different variations with this. Um, and there's so many cool things you can do. It really just shows you what you know your personality is and what you like and all that stuff in between. So with that being said, um, breaking down what the tail light looks like and all the function on it, uh, let's go ahead and show you what it looks like on the car and give you a quick glimpse of that. Okay guys, so here we are looking at the back end and you can already see the beautiful difference. Now, granted, I do have a black vet and that black did look pretty clean, you know, being smoked out OEM like that. But that smoked new light is absolutely beautiful. And now I'm going to go ahead and just turn, uh, unlock my doors here and show you right there. Look at that. Look at the difference in lighting. And as you guys can see, my um, reverse light is on and that is the white lights you're going to see from the reverse. You will see some more shots of that without, without that on. I'm just going to do this for the purpose of the video here to show you. Look at the difference. One more time, unlock that. Look at that. The infinity is phenomenal, guys. And I'm gonna tell you something, um, just a real life um, aspect of these. The infinity and the lighting in, in a hole on these looks so much better in person. You know, I'm filming on a, a high quality camera and it's still, it, it just doesn't give it justice to what it looks like on your car um, and how that infinity looks. So I, I'm just, again, so excited about these. So with that being shown, now you guys can see what it looks like. Let's jump right into the install guys. And I hope you enjoy and cannot wait to finish these up. Okay guys, so step one is to remove your tail lights. So to remove your tail lights, you have a two T15 screws on the top end of each tail light, uh, as you can see right there. So that's one, and here's the other. And I'm doing this in real time just so you can see. Um, if you've never removed your tail light, which some people may have not, um, you'd be surprised how easy it was. So if you have, then you know what to do. And then you just slide your finger right there using that and then pull and lift up because there's um, little tabs on the bottom there that actually hold it in right there. And then you have your 
um, housing out. So in most cases, in my case of my car, these harnesses are very brittle and they break. So people will use zip ties to go around the light and then attach it to and hold it in place. Um, like I said, I've been using these already, so I had to shorten mine. But just pull your light bulb out and that's all you have to do. Take that to the side and then take this one, lift and pull out, twist so you can remove your light. And then again, just pull out and you're good to go. So now with those out, we want to put in our new. So there is left hand and there's right hand. That's all there is with these cars. There's no like, you know, inner or outer. So you don't have to worry about anything like that. So simply, all we have to do now is plug and play. We just push our harness in. So there's really only one way it can go. So just find which way it goes. It will glide right into place. Like so. And then I can take my zip tie. I'm gonna set the light down for a second and move the camera for you. So I'm gonna take my zip tie here and I'm just going to use it as a anchor to just anchor that in. So we don't have to worry about that coming out. And just like that, that's good to go. Now, before you do anything else, so make sure your lights are functioning. Gently lay it in like so. Find your car keys and just unlock your car. Boom. We are good to go. So perfect, perfect, perfect. Love it, love it, love it. So now we got that one. Go ahead and repeat that process for this one and you're good to go. So if you're not going to be wiring these up, then don't worry about anything else. Don't worry about uh, what I'm gonna show you next. You're pretty much done. Just screw in your T15 and that's all you have to do. So let me go ahead and um, get this one in here and then show you what we're gonna do next. Okay, so tip for my guys that are going to be doing the reverse light wiring. What you wanna do is take that white wire and let that one fall free. And then what I did uh, just for you know, order and cleanliness. And also just to not have this wire dangling, I'm gonna take the yellow and I'm gonna wrap it back up with the supplied twist tie and uh, just have it bunched up right here. So I'm just gonna take that, put it like this, loop it back over. that and take my twist tie that was supplied already and just do that so it's just clean tucked away and out the way and we got this one dangling so now we want to take this and we want to drop this through and down into so it falls right down in this area here all right guys so now i'm up under the car and I'd love to tell you there's a specific way to do this, but there really isn't. What you all you have to really do is just drop that wire through, like I said, and you got to just keep coming down and up until you find it. I was lucky enough and I didn't get this on camera, but I was lucky enough to get it first try on this side. So I have both wires down here. What I want to do is, is I want to find the positive for my reverse light. So all I need to do is, is I need to find the colored wire and coming off there is the black and there is the green and it definitely appears that somebody's already tried to do this before so possibly with a backup camera but instead of t-tapping they just went right in um strange so what i want to do is find that green wire which i got right there so this is going to be a little bit tricky but what i'm going to do is show you how the t-tap works if you've never used one and again they are supplied with the lights so what we're gonna do is T-tap the two whites together right now. Let me show you what that looks like. Okay guys, so to tap these two together, you wanna take your supplied T-taps and all we need is one. And what I would do is take the shorter one and tap into the longer one. So to do that, you just take, there's a slotted spot here. You put the area of the line you want through and then you squeeze down and you can get it started with your fingers, but you wanna take a pair of pliers and just clamp down right through the middle. Just give it 
nice firm squeeze. Just like that. And that way you can even see in through that it is spliced and punched in. Then we take our other wire. And we just simply push this piece right here through there. Take our weather gasket here. And just push that down so we keep all moisture and everything out. So now we have just one here. And we're gonna take our other T-tap and we're gonna tap into that green wire coming off that harness. So you wanna take that harness out, uh, quarter turn twist it out, just like the tail light, uh, take the bulb off and then do what I just did here onto that one over there. So that's gonna be a little hard to get in the camera, but I'm just gonna do that. Again, it's the exact same process. Once you get it around, squeeze it with your finger and then come in with your pliers and clamp that down just to make sure you got a secure bite. And then once you do, Push this through, put your protecting gasket over it, and you should be all set. Okay, guys, so coming up underneath again, I have it all complete. So you can see there, there's the wire that I showed you tapped into that one. And then right there, I have it clamped over my green, tapped in, and then my T pushed on. So these are all bridged together. So now all we need to do is just come back out, push our key, and test. Let's go ahead and check that out. Okay, so let's push our unlock. Make sure we got light and boom, we do. So it's slightly delayed because that's the initial power up. Just so you know, when you actually engage your reverse lights, your car will be on, already be on and um, there will be no delay. But let's make sure they both work and that they do. So you are all set then, guys. You already know what it is. You got your power set up. So now you just simply need to um, twist on your two T15 screws back at the top and the install is complete. So now what I'm gonna do is cycle through and show you what the options look like so we can see those firsthand. All right, guys, so I have my hazards on here. So right here you can see we have amber and solid, and that is red and solid. So taking my switch here and for sequential, turning that to on, it's gonna give me the sequential flow through with amber color. And then my red on or off with it off, you got the amber, and with it on, you have it red. So you on the fly switching, guys, on the fly switching. I don't know about you guys, but I uh, I really like the red, but it's something about the amber that's getting me. Like, I think it's just because it's so custom and it looks so smooth. I think I'm going to do the amber just because, you know, that red side is going to be able to... Uh, Will be solid red with the break and it won't be orange and this will be orange i think it'll be really sweet just to show the clearness and functionality of these lights all right guys so it's it's a sunny day still but uh just to kind of show you where we're at so i have them set up to where you can see all variations and right here you can see we have the red on the left and then the orange amber on the right and we have the sequential or the non-sequential so you can see what you can do here you can do so many things i mean you can make it to where just the outsides are sequential just the insides are sequential both none you know vice versa like it's so cool on what you can do with these it's absolutely beautiful and you can see just that color is so nice the amber really looks good i think i'm gonna go with the amber just because i think it looks really sweet that you can uh you can like, you know, have that one side will be red when you're pressing your brake and then that'll automatically switch over to the amber, then right back to the red. I love that, love that. Got to use that switch back functionality. What I'm stuck on is if I should keep one sequential like this or keep them both sequential. It's so hard to tell. Like, I really like that look too. So I'm gonna have to play with it a little bit. But um, like I said, you know, now that you got that wire cooked in, you're good to go. There's nothing else. All you have to do is just spend countless hours deciding on what style you want. And the beauty is it's a 15 um, T15 screw takes one minute to pull out and you can switch around and go crazy for as long as you want. So um, I'm going to go ahead and figure out my setup and then I'm going to grab some night shots of the um, different variations, guys. And I hope you enjoy and some shots of it on the car. So enjoy those shots.
I'm just going to be a pop type music, a screen music.